Oh my. That is so good. I kind of like this one just because of how blatant it is. Like it's not even like pretending to be real. So today we're gonna show you a recent Instagram post from the artist Bow Wow. Like Bow Wow the rapper? Okay. Bow Wow, I haven't heard about him in a while. Yes, the Bow Wow challenge. Bow Wow was uh, fronting for social media and he got caught. So it all started when Bow Wow posted this. Okay, travel day. NYC press run for growing up hip hop. Let's go. I promise to bring y'all the hottest show ever. Looks like he's boarding some type of private jet. The private jet, the nice car, the bins. And then this is what somebody posted right afterwards. So this guy, Lil Bow Wow, was on my flight to New York. But on Instagram, he posted a picture of a private jet caption traveling to NYC today. Shake my head. <laughs> oh no, Bow Wow got caught. Haha, <laughs> so he's faking like he's got a jet? There he is, in economy. Wow, he was like trying to like show out. Be all cool. That's insane. He's probably looking to see the comments on the picture he posted, and they caught him. You cannot bamboozle the internet. After this was found out that Bow Wow had faked this, the internet then obviously went crazy, and then started something called the Bow Wow Challenge. <laughs> what is that challenge? The Bow Wow Challenge is doing what Bow Wow did, like, uh, you know, putting up a fake picture of uh, whatever glamorous lifestyle you may be living and then showing the reveal where in actuality you're not really about that life. So we have some images of this challenge for you now. <laughs> oh boy. On vacation in Hawaii. That looks like a, yeah, fake photo. Is this a hot dogs or legs post? <laughs> is that fingers? And here is the reveal. <laughs> The knees looked a little sketchy. That's pretty impressive. I, I love the internet, man. Like, it's just the greatest challenges all the time. 23 already bought my own crib. Okay, where are we going with this one? Oh, he's he's at Home Depot. Oh, he's at Home Depot. I mean, it's, it's creative for sure. <laughs> oh, man. I, this is why I love the internet, man. Pretty funny. It's like classic jokes. It's like setup punchline. I love it. This is the internet in a good natured way, keeping you in check. Oh man, there's gonna be like, there's gonna be like a little tiny shoe or something, there's gonna be Photoshop. Is that a piece of paper? I don't know shoes that well, but it, it looks pretty, he's, I mean, unless it's like a paper. Oh, but it's a fake cutout. Oh, it's a piece of paper? Yo. Nice, that, his angle was just pristine, that was perfect. I'm impressed. Good optical illusion. Damn. I was wondering where that was gonna go. That's really good. That's that's impressive. I like it a lot. It requires a little more effort. It's like, it's part of the meme culture thing where you have to kind of think through the joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that one's just too good. Oh my God, this is great. <laughs> Oh, uh, my favorite are like really, really bad edits, but it's, it works perfectly together. I kind of like this one just because of how blatant it is. Like it's not even like pretending to be real. Social media is not reality. It's your portfolio of your best moments. Most of life is, is normal. And if you can enjoy that, that's when you're gonna be happy. These are all nice. Like the internet could be so much worse than this. Hello bottles for tonight. But I'm trying to think of where this is gonna go. I already know where this is going. Are those little tiny ones? <laughs> are those minis? <laughs> Okay, these are gonna be tiny. These are gonna be tiny bottles and oh, Yep, there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Called it. That's the most Bow Wow challenge I've seen so far. Oh, they're just tiny. <laughs> it's all about just like cutting out the details <laughs> so that what you see is like in this tiny little lens. Instagram's all about kind of like trying to paint the best part of your life and show it off to people. But he took it so far, it's like you gotta make fun of him for it. How can you not? With my man. With my man. Those don't look like real legs. There's no one there. And she's just put like, like sort of like golf clubs in shoes and put pants on them or something. Oh, clever, clever. I like that. That's good. Oh, welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> I love her smile as well. She's like, bow wow. I think it's funny. I think it's it's deserved. And you know what? It's probably gonna help Lil Bow Wow anyway, because now he's all over everything. If I was Lil Bow Wow, I would just play along. I remember the time when I saw Beyonce in concert. Is that on TV? Is it, oh, it's a YouTube! Oh! Silly fruit roll up. I've been there. 
Like, like when I, I wasn't able to make it to the concert, and then just watch the whole thing on YouTube later. I think it's hilarious. People see, they're, they're approaching it with levity, which is great. They're not like, he lied! It's like, what an idiot. And we can all celebrate his idiocy. I love that. And the winner of the Balaton goes to... That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my. That is so good. <laughs> This is the one. You got a photographer and lighting. That's pretty impressive. The lighting is good. That guy with the lamp knows what he's doing. Wow, look at these guys. They got all pro with the lighting and everything. That's pretty fun. I'm gonna totally jump on this bandwagon. That's a production right there. They they went in for that, so props to them. Getting the helmets ready for the new season. Uh, hash, the Philadelphia Eagles, the official Twitter. Oh, I love when brands get involved with these challenges, you know? All right, let's see it. Let's see the reveal. Oh, it's tiny. It's like a little mini helmet. It's so little. It's so small. Where'd it go? <laughs> Is it just like a little tiny little hel helmet? Yeah. I love when like uh, like brands and stuff get on like their social media game. I think that's the like the coolest thing that they keep up with like trends and stuff. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh! I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> that is freaking cool. <laughs> what? That was amazing. Oh my gosh. That was good. This is why I love the internet, man. This is why. I love it. I kind of like want to do one now. So many people are poking fun at Bow Wow now for getting caught like this on social media. Being someone like yourself with a large social media following, how do you think you would feel if this happened to you and everyone started roasting you? I would feel terrible. Like, I mean, I've gotten into a little tiff and it hurt my soul to even like check my phone. I feel like my like career is done. Like, I feel like after something like this happens, you just can't be trusted. Ever. I try and be like very honest on my social media, but I think that everyone who like consumes social media understands that like people do embellish, I think a little bit. Uh, I think I would have to play along with it. I think I would just keep on doing it. I think I would just like keep on, because everybody, it's a playful thing. If I got caught doing something like this, I would better expect to get roasted like this. Everybody's just trying to be what they feel like they should be online for retweets and likes. If you put yourself out there that you you open yourself up to a lot of people supporting what you do, but then you also open yourself up to a lot of people not supporting what you do. And so I think like yeah, if 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 you make a if you make a misstep, they will kind of roast you a little bit. That's kind of par for the course. Well, this is the kind of thing where people will sometimes stretch the truth in something they've posted. So we got to ask you have you yourself ever done something similar on social media before like this? Yes and no. Like I've posted pictures where like I look skinnier in it just cause I can angle it. I mean, it's kind of cheating a little bit. I do sometimes like, like take a few pictures and then we'll like pepper it throughout the week. You know what I mean? Like I didn't necessarily always take that picture that day. Everybody's done this when you like meet a celebrity and you're like, yeah, man, we were talking like, you know, we were talking for like a good five minutes, we we're hanging out, but no, they literally just walked by you and you didn't even say a word to them. Many times I've like cleaned off just a corner of my room, my messy, messy room to do like a quick little vlog video where if you pulled back the lens, you wouldn't see the nicely made bed behind me. You'd see like this catastrophe that's the normal of my life. Finally, nowadays there's a lot of pressure on people to to be aware of what they're posting on social media, especially with how much scrutiny there is for celebrities. It seems like they can't even make any type of mistake or they risk the wrath of the internet. From your perspective, do you think that he deserves this type of backlash for this post? Uh, yeah, 100%. He lied. He deserves to be made fun of for, 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 for lying. Nowadays, yeah, you mess up once on social media, everyone will roast you for like a week and then it's played out and no one really cares anymore. I feel for him, but on the other side, the internet is always like making jokes about everyone and so you kind of, you have to have thick skin to kind of, to do to be on the internet. Everybody makes mistakes. And that's happened to every single person who has a social media account. And um, sometimes it really does feel unfair. 
you know, but I guess I guess that's part of being in the public light. Thanks for watching this episode of YouTubers React. And check out the description to find all the YouTubers channels who are in this episode and make sure you subscribe to them. Alright y'all, I'm about to go hop on Denzel Washington's private yacht. See you later. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If there's any challenges that you want us to try, put it down in the comments and there might be in the next video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.